platform panels, people. Tombstones, bricks, gargoyles, knights in shining armor. Let's get them done. <sighs> Smith from Stewart Designs. We are here in New Hampshire. Uh, if you're watching this video, it is August 1st, but you're not watching this until October due to contracts. Nothing of this site can show up on any social media whatsoever or show any pictures until they are actually open. So we're shooting this video and we're dating it and putting it to uh, schedule it to go boom in October. So today we're doing some thermoform panels. I do have two more images to do up in the club zombie, but I thought because it takes so long for these suckers to dry that we'd hit them right away in the morning and uh, put a fan on them and get them ready to go so we can get ready to put color on them and stain them and make them pretty. So uh, I threw a little uh, instruction in there on how to get these things done, uh, what to do and whatever lighting situation and uh hey i hope that helps and i hope you enjoy so thanks for watching like subscribe share and hey we will see you on the next video you take care ah yes the smell of drying paint we have a uh, fan going on this right now but i wanted to show you guys what you can do with these thermoform panels um we went through a primed them and then we came along with a color. Now the color I used is a mixture of green, brown, red, white, and black, which gave us a kind of neutral brownish color. And then came along with red, yellow, and black for the tombstone sticking out. And then a little yellow highlight in like the brick areas and this, not on every one of them, but just slightly. What we're looking for is high contrast because these are going to be shot in low light for the customers to see. So right now they are drying before I can come along and distress them with black and white and then do a little dry brushing and they will be complete. But just to show you what they look like before all the distressing happens, we're just throwing on the color um, and trying to get that high contrast, these bricks and the inside will look really cool, especially when we come along and do a distress with a watered down uh, black. We're also gonna add in some uh, polyurethane to give them the slight wet look, especially with whatever lighting they're gonna choose to use. It will give it that moist, nasty feeling. And uh, I mean, nothing, nothing strong, but enough to sit there and say, okay, you know, these, these are living, these are wet, these are nasty, I don't wanna to touch them. And so this is what we're working on today. I have two more images to detail out, but I thought, you know, we gotta hear at quarter after eight and we're just gonna get these going. So uh, the, the drying time on them is, is quite significant. I got a fan going right now. And uh, we're gonna get these bad boys done before they tear down this section and put up the next one. So I just wanted to show that to you guys and uh, we'll continue forth. We have some brown ones in the back. We'll show you pictures of that. We're gonna stain those up, do a little dry brushing on them. And then um, later on, John will be putting vines and nasties and all sorts of stuff on them and that'll look really cool. So just when you guys are painting yours, just remember high contrast uh, to really punch it when, when they use the low lighting on it. 